But here's what's best, and that is a well-staged home. A well-staged home is better than a vacant home, and it's better than any other version of what your house could look like. Welcome to my classroom. I'm Chris Collette, the real estate professor. So thinking about selling your house, the days are coming where you're gonna take photos, you're gonna start doing open houses and showings, we're gonna list your home, but we need to stage your home. We need to get your home ready for sale. We need to show your home in the best light. All the research shows that there are two ways that are most likely to get a buyer to want to come see your house when they see your home online. Number one is price. Duh, can we afford the house? Is this in our price range? Do we wanna buy this kind of house at this price? The second one is the photos. It's not the description, as much as we all love reading those. It's not the description, the listing details, the quirks about it. It's the photos. We wanna make sure that your home in photos looks amazing. And then when they come to your house, that they go, yeah, this house is as good as it was in the photos. I wanna buy this house. So. There are really four levels of staging, if you will, or four ways that a house could look. The worst one, you know those like TV shows with hoarders? That's the worst. If you, you know, I'm sorry, if you are a hoarder or you think or you joke with your friends that you're a hoarder, let's start early, nice and slow. We'll help you out. We'll make it as clean as possible. I got a lot of great removal companies that can come take a bunch of your stuff, get old appliances, stuff like that. Let's get rid of that stuff first. The average home, however, is probably what your house looks like right now. It's somebody lives in it, their stuff is throughout the house, it just looks like somebody's house, right? And even if it's in really great shape, it's still somebody's house. Better than that, if we could go one step better than that, it would actually be a vacant house. That way, a vacant home, somebody can walk in and say, I know where all my stuff's gonna go, I don't feel like I'm in somebody's house. But there is one better than that. So we've had kind of worst, average, and good, but here's what's best, and that is a well-staged home. A well-staged home is better than a vacant home, and it's better than any other version of what your house could look like. So let's talk about what staging really means. I'm gonna give you three big keys to staging your home effectively. The first one, the first rule of thumb, less is more. In general, any time that you have more than one thing, Limit it down to one thing. So you got a shelf and there's a ton of books and a plant and a lamp and some knickknacks and some teapot. Get rid of all of it and put maybe one picture of a flower. Put a couple of books leaning up against that, right? We want something that just says, look at how big this shelf is. In your kitchen, you have a lot of counter space and we have uh, toasters and that air fryer you bought during the pandemic and that microwave that dings for three hours because you forgot that you put food in three hours ago and you have spices and you have a knife block and you have pots and pans and some dishes and the glass from the water this morning. Like you have a ton of stuff on your counter, we all do. I want you to get rid of all of it. I want you to make your counter almost unusable. Like take all your stuff, put it in some cabinets. That way, because between you and me, the most important part of a kitchen is the counter space usually. That way, people walk in and they go, oh my God, look at all this counter space. And then they're gonna move and they're gonna put all their stuff on it anyway. So they'll take up all that counter space just like you did, just like we did, just like I do. But we want it to look like there's a ton of counter space available. Less is more. The next step is that light is critical. So when you walk into a home, if it feels dark, especially with us coming out of this pandemic, if your house feels dark, if you have, now don't get me wrong, maybe you work night shift and you have to sleep during the day, or you just like to sleep late. Maybe you have blinds that block a lot of light. We wanna get rid of all those. We want your house to let as much light in as possible. When I stage homes, when we professionally stage homes, we usually will take down whatever curtains, whatever blinds, whatever's on the windows, and we'll replace them either with nothing, we'll just leave it open to let a lot of light come in, or shears. Those are those almost completely see-through curtains that hang on either side that don't really block any light at all, but they do provide a nice visual. That lets so much light in that when people walk into your home, they think, wow, it's, it's bright and spacious, it's airy, it's open, and it makes the house feel bigger when there's that much light. Especially nowadays when people have to work from home, they wanna feel like this big bright light so they can feel more productive. So the third thing is, why did you buy your house? Every time I meet with clients who are thinking about selling their home, I ask them one of the first questions, what made you wanna buy this house? Almost everybody has a good story. Well, when we first walked into this house, um, it opens up into the living room and the kitchen, and we just loved how open and spacious and airy it was. 
Great. Let's lean into that. Let's have people, when we run the open house, they'll come through the front door instead of the garage, and we'll see that big open space again. We'll clear it out nice and big, and we'll really feature the big open space. If you fell in love with the house for that reason, it's a high likelihood that the buyers of your home are going to fall in love for the exact same reason. So ask yourself, what do you love about your house? Not now, but when you first bought it, because that's what the buyers are going to think too. So if you have questions about staging your home, getting it ready for sale, reach out to me and my team. I'm Chris Collette, the Real Estate Professor, and I'll see you guys next week.